Hey guys, hope you're having a good day, night, afternoon. I had a number of requests to take a look at some of the Criterion Collection that I own. And rather than go through all of it, I'm going to pick the titles that I think should be in most people's collections or might be just really cult favorites that some of you out there might really want to take a closer look at and consider for a purchase if you don't already own them. I'm going to start with one of my favorites. It's a, a film by Ingmar Bergman, and it's called The Seventh Seal. This is a film I watched from, from when I was a child. Uh, caught it on public television, just loved it. Max von Sydow uh, plays the character of the knight. Uh, he's the main character in the film. He's uh, a man of integrity. Uh, the plague is, is sweeping through Europe, uh, and he really wants to uh, try to help people. Uh, he's he's uh, you know, symbolically involved in a chess match with death. Death has sought him out, as he has uh, countless others throughout the years, just about everybody throughout the years, and uh, the knight takes him on in a chess match, so a very symbolic and, and very famous scene, You've probably seen that. So I want to take a closer look at this, The Seventh Seal, by Ingmar Bergman. Uh, first of all, in the back, numerous extras on this film. It is uh, 97 minutes long. It was made in 1957. It's black and white. It's a monoral recording, it's not in stereo. It's a 1.33 to 1 aspect ratio, and it's in Swedish with English subtitles. So here, I'll see if I can focus in on some of this here. Come on, yeah, that's pretty good. Um, it's got a restored definition, there we go, digital transfer. Um, it's got an introduction by Ingmar Bergman, recorded in 2003 before his death. Audio commentary by Bergman, expert uh, Peter Cowell. A documentary on, on Ingmar Bergman. An interview with Max von Sydow. A tribute to Bergman by Woody Allen. Bergman 101, a uh, video filmography tracing Bergman's career. Oh, the trailer. And a new and improved English subtitle translation. And a booklet featuring an essay by critic uh, Gary Giddens. So let's take a look at the inside of this. Uh, the disc is you know, rather plain. I don't mind that with the Criterion Collection. There's so many other things the Criterion Collection gives you that are kind of cool. Uh, there's a beautiful scene there near the, uh, near the sea, bird overhead. And then on the other side here, that's just black on the other side. <clears throat> You've got this great booklet. And I uh, really like this. Of course, there's Max von Sydow, The Knight. And it has a, a chapter sequence for the film. Another nice piece of artwork here. It's beautifully filmed. I, I don't think this picture has ever looked better. In fact, I'm certain of it. And it may not look any better than this. I mean, I don't know how much better they can they can make this look, quite frankly. It's, um, it's just a really nicely done transfer. There is death. And then here's the uh, it's called There Go the Clowns by Gary Giddens. It's a uh, critical essay. It has got a lot of pictures as well throughout. Uh, critical essay of the film, kind of what it means. Beautiful picture there. Another really nice picture. So essentially death in this movie is kind of making the rounds. The plague has, sweep, has swept through Europe and the knight is going through Europe with his squire and trying to help, trying to uh, just kind of see what's going on, help where he can and runs across death and they play this, they have this symbolic game that they play uh, for the knight's life and no, numerous other characters were introduced throughout as as the knight and the squire travel throughout Europe small little towns villages uh, where people are struggling with the plague and, and there's a very uh, religious 
overtone to a lot of, of what the, uh, uh, the peasants and the local villagers do to try to ward off death or keep death at bay or, or you know, keep their people well from the plague. Very interesting film. Uh, beautifully shot. It's, it's you know, this, this game of chess on the beach has, has been parodied throughout the years, but, but really never done as well as it's been done in The Seventh Seal. I highly recommend the Criterion version. It's got great extras. The sound and pictures I mentioned are really about as good as you're ever going to get for a film of this age. And I think you'll be very happy with it. It's a film that you can watch again and again. And, you know, it's a film you may have to watch again and again because it things don't jump out at you in this movie. It's not like, oh, okay, that's obvious. It's not like watching uh, Transformers, just to pick on a movie. Uh, it, it, it's got depth to it. It's it's not an escapism type film. You do need to concentrate on it. It's subtitled, but it's a beautiful film. It's uh, extremely symbolic, and I think if you give this one a chance, it's a. I think this is a good uh, entry type film into uh, foreign language and subtitle films. Uh, because it is something you can watch again and again. There's plenty of critical essays on it. You can really kind of delve into it. And yet, it's not hard to follow the general plot, but to, to pick up all the nuances and the symbolisms and so on throughout, uh, it perhaps requires more than one viewing. It has for me anyway. So that's uh, The Seventh Seal, a film by Ingmar Bergman, legendary film director, and a legendary film. So check it out. It's on Criterion. It's part of the Criterion Collection, and um, it's uh, spy number 11. I didn't show that side view there, but it is, uh, there we go, like that. Spy number 11, Criterion Collection. I think Criterions always look really nice, I think. And we've got the Criterion thing here. The newer ones, all the Blu-rays and newer editions have the C on it, both on the um, spine and also on the cover. And I think on the back, too. It's just a little different looking there. So, Seven Seal, Ingmar Bergman, starring Max von Sydow. Excellent Criterion Collection edition. Pick it up.